Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, back with my, what is this, my fourth? Yeah, my fourth G-Fest action figure review. Very cool, and my uh, first review was this Comic-Con exclusive Godzilla that I'm going to show you in every single review. Yeah, get used to it. Uh, it's SH Monster Arts, go check out the review for him. Very cool. My second review was over the memorial box. Show a gals. Yeah, so check out the review for him. And my third review was over... Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. The Toys Dream Project Titanosaurus. So yeah, check out that review as well. But this review is over Bandai's Hyper Zeton. 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 I don't know. I'm not, I don't really do a good Zeton impression. But, uh, yeah, I've wanted this guy since I knew he existed. He's very nice. I got him in box. 20 bucks. Um, I was, I was sitting in my hotel room watching the G-Fest TV channel. Yeah, G-Fest had its own TV channel. That was awesome. They played some great stuff. And I was just like... I think I'm going to go get the final form because the dealer had the final form as well and I had to wait till the next day because it was closed at that point. And then the next day, like an hour after the dealer's room opened, I was walking in and as I was walking in, the guy who bought the final form was walking out with it under his arm and I was like, oh man, that was like the only final form anyone had. So, uh, I didn't get the final form. I was going to go back for the final form. I, I think I'll get the final form one day because it looks pretty pretty freaking ballin but right now I'm, I'm content with this form this is like the middle form i believe i haven't seen the ultraman saga movie he's from the ultraman saga movie but uh, let me show you the box quickly it's got hyper z on there like his name or maybe that says ultraman saga i don't know what it says but it has hyper z on there i believe that says hyper z on though ultra monster series the x up there ultra monster series got a the Hyper Z on on the side, name and the X up there and stuff. And then on the back, you got like copyright crap. And here he is up here with like descriptions of his parts and stuff and description of him. He looks very cool, by the way. He's very awesome. And there he is on this side again. Both these sides are the same. And he's got a cool viewing window and everything. So yeah, let us open the Hyper Z on. And here he is, folks. Hyper Zeton! And I must say, I am not disappointed in this purchase at all. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It's a very beautiful looking figure. And I love the packaging. It's designed so you can put him back in there. I am going to put him back in there, but I might take him out every once in a while for like a videos and stuff. While my uh, Comic Con Godzilla, when he goes back in, he's back in forever. Unfortunately, I know he's beautiful, but he's. He's going to stay in this box. But yeah, we got Hyper Z on here, everyone. This is great. Uh, he's from the new Ultraman Saga movie. Uh, I hear it was a great movie. Ben, uh, not Ben, uh, what's his name? Ben Furia. I can't pronounce his last name to save my life. He played Ultraman in the original series and Ultra 7. And he, I believe he played an Ultra Garrison member as well. But, uh. Yeah, he said the Ultraman Saga movie was really cool in his panel, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I gotta see it eventually. But, uh, yeah, Hyper Zeton was the main villain in there, and of course Saga's like a fusion between Zero and two other Ultraman whose names I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, this guy's really neat. Let me show you his articulation. Arms rotate, you know. Like that. And then... Waist rotation. They both go 360, by the way, but these wing things kind of block. And they're kind of articulated themselves, as you can see here. They are also articulated. And, uh, they just... I think they pop out. I think they pop out. I don't really want to pop them out. But I believe there's a part of the movie where he doesn't have wings. And let me see if these pop out. I gotta get a closer look before I actually try any of this. But yeah, I think they pop out. I'm not gonna do it, just because I don't like to pop things out. It makes me feel a little nervous. <laughs> but, uh... 
Yeah, I believe they pop out, so you can have the wingless version. I really like the uh, wings, though. I don't want to pop them out. They look great. I'm not entirely sure how easy it'll be to pop them back in, but I'm pretty positive you can pop them out without damaging them if you do it uh, carefully. But yeah, articulation. It's uh, pretty standard. He's got ultra articulation, and then his wings are articulated. So that's nice. Speaking of ultras, there was a tiny little ad when I opened the box. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little ad right there for an Ultraman Saga figure. Anyways, let me show you the detail on this Hyper Zeton. It's pretty good. I'm going to start from the top and go down. First thing, his antenna here. Uh, it's the full antenna, but they're kind of filled in with black where there should be space. Like, uh, you see that, that space right there and the antennas on the box? Well, it's not on the antenna here. Because if it was, they'd break off. Now, I know lots of people complain about it being filled in there. But if it wasn't, these things would be very fragile and they could break off. So it's a good thing it's there. It's there so that the figure won't break. And it doesn't look bad. It looks just fine. It looks good. Big deal. Don't complain. The face looks nice. I love the detail and the paint there. It's not bleeding. Detail on the chest. His uh, little yellow boobies there, they're not bleeding. And then his uh, yellow wang. It looks good. Touching the yellow uh, Zeton wang. And he's got like detail here. There's no, there's really no paint bleed on this guy. And the grays and blacks look good. There's detail all down the boots. I love his hands. At the costume contest, there was a Zeton. It was like classic Zeton, but with hyper Zeton hands. And it was really cool. Just saying. It was really cool. I might make a little short pictures from G-Fest video and post it too. But yeah, those look good. And then here's the back of the figure. Details great and stuff. Love these wings. But uh, this thing that kind of sticks out and is a little unsightly is his tail here. I mean, this looks fine and dandy, but the tail is just kind of sculpted down the leg. And I can't say I like that. Now, I know the tail is that tiny and that thin. If they made the actual tail, it'd break off, dude. It'd be fragile. It'd probably break off down here or pop out or something all the time. And it wouldn't be very practical, and it might even get in the way a little bit. But still, sculpting it down the leg uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, I that's probably the best option that they had, but I still don't like it. But I can ignore it. I'm going to have the figure facing this way, and he's going to be in his box pretty much all the time anyways. So, not a big deal. But yeah, detail and paint job are actually very, very excellent on this guy. Now here's Hyper Zeton with excuse me, some other Ultraman figures. Here he is with the original Ultraman from the Ultra Hero series. Uh, I think they scale up well together. I mean, I've only seen Zet this Hyper Zeton in like trailers for Ultraman Saga. So I'm going by what I saw in the trailers here. And to me, that looks fine. Ultramen are usually crouching and stuff anyways. But, yeah. Looks fine to me. And then here he's next to Bogol, one of my favorite Ultra Monsters. Mostly because of her involvement in the uh, Dinosaur episodes and her kicking character design. I mean, look at her. She's great looking. She's sexy. She's a very sexy figure. But I got her at G-Fest as well from the same booth, actually. I don't know the booth's name. But same booth. And I think she scales up well with him as well. Here's Hyper Zeton with some bigger, more reptilian kaiju. Because, yeah, you know, bigger kaiju are cool. I, of course, had to compare him with Godzilla here. This is a Godzilla I got at G-Fest. The one from the Mechagirus set. Tell by the spines. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like the comparison. I think it looks good. And here I also have another Ultra Monster, EX Gomera, my first Ultra Monster, and one of my favorite figures. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure about the comparison here. Gomer might need to be somewhat bigger, you know. But, uh, hey, whatevs. All things said and done, Hyper Zeton is a pretty remarkable figure. He scales up well with other figures, his detail's amazing, his paint job's amazing, his articulation 
it's decent. You know, he's got more than Ultraman does. Which is very impressive because regular Zetons just like waist joint, arms, done. But he has those wings. Those wings are articulate. And that's pretty awesome. Now there's the thing of the tail kind of sculpted into the leg. But it can be completely ignored. Especially by figures who keep him in the packaging. Lots of figures are going to do... Lots of people like me are going to do that. I want to keep him in the packaging almost all the time. Except for when I'm like filming with him or using him as size comparisons or something. But, uh, down his back here, that tail, it could be ignored. Because, like, if you have him on a shelf without the box, then, you know, he's going to be facing this way anyways. Like, big deal. So, yeah. I love this Hyper Zeton. I'm going to give this guy a 5 out of 5. I think he completely deserves it. He is an excellent figure. Excellent everything. 5 out of 5. And I believe this is the first G-Fest figure I'm giving a 5 out of 5 to. I didn't even give a 5 out of 5 to my Monster Arts. I believe this is my first 5 out of 5. But yeah, it is absolutely wonderful. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So yeah, 5 out of 5, and I'll see you guys later.